So here. Hello guys. So let's start our lesson. So here. So here let's start. Hello, welcome to my class. So hello, I'm teacher Addy and welcome to my class. So our subject for today is music and arts of grade 7. So let's begin with a prayer first. So let's pray. Okay. Now let's move on. So here we have the music and art 7. So here we have our lesson title, our learning competencies. So it shows the relationships ayan, of the development. And performing arts po ito. So here we have the music. So here we have the subtitle. What are South Asia's contemporary and emerging music and arts? So here, let me read. Both the music scenes in the Philippines and its neighboring countries in Southeast Asia, namely Malaysia and Indonesia, are vibrant and diverse. This is because the music and forms in Southeast Asia reflect a people long history and diverse cultures in the region. So that is one of the introduction. So here, the art forms have developed in relation to Southeast Asian religious belief and practices. Ayan, so kumalat na po yung ating art forms. So here we have understanding the art form help learners know more about the beliefs and religion, custom, and tradition of our friendly neighbors in Asia. So dito, ma uh, malalaman natin yung mga paniniwala ng bawat bansa and umuuspong naman na dito yung different religions as, such as the Hinduism, Catholicism, Romanticism, and many more. Yung customs and tradition, kung ano naman yung kinabis, kinagisnan ng lugar. Ayan, syempre, there are interaction between countries. So, next one. Both contemporary music and art forms have grown to be more exciting, emerging art forms because of modern technology. Ayan. So because of modern technology, nag-evolve ang ating contemporary music art. So both the music and arts are grown because of our modern technology. So now next. So here, um, there is a question stated that, what are the cultural influences of contemporary and emerging music and arts of the Philippines in Southeast Asia? So here is the answer. The different customs, principles, beliefs, and traditions from different countries in South Asia that influence the concept, process, techniques, and the processes in their integrative art forms. So ito daw yung mga na-influence noong time ng Ano, pagkakaroon ng cultural influences between countries. So here, the integrative arts came from a combination of Western Islamic, Hindu with Buddhist, and the indigenous, uh, in the indigenous influences. Ito yung another um, belief, yung sabi kanina nga, diba? Magkakaroon ng, nagkaroon ng, exchange or really um ng mga relation of southeast asian religious belief religious beliefs and practices so here it includes the western islamic hindu buddhist and the Indi indigenous influences so that are the three combination the influences that so now what is popular music oh what do you think is a popular music so popular music and so here, popular music is originating from the U.S. and the U.K. Ayan. So it is originated in the U.S. And U.S. is United States of America and United Kingdom. So popular music or pop music consists of songs with a strong beat. and With a strong beat. Simply but catchy tunes. So here, ang mga popular music daw, yun yung mga sikat na kanta kung saan meron siya mga malalakas na mga beat and catchy yung tones niya. 
lyrics that are easy to remember and repeated chorus. So, madali lang daw siyang maalala and paulit-ulit lang yung mga chorus, di ba? Yung mga trendy music in this in these years, yung mga sikat na mga kanta to trend. So, that is an example of a popular music. Yun yung mga strong beats, madaling i-memorize, catchy sa pandinig ng mga tao. And next, we have here technological invention. So, here technological inventions. Here. So, technological invention from phonograph, microphone, and speakers, radio players, TV, and synthesizers. Help perform, record, play, edit, produce, and distribute popular music to what known today. So, yan yung ano natin sa popular, popular music. So, there we have it. So, dahil sa technological invention, nagkaroon tayo ng mga machines, invention, ginagamit para mag-record ng mga music. It is easier to record. And here we have it. Pop music speaks of relatable topics, especially to the youth, enabling it to spread globally fast. Ayan, syempre madali na lang siyang mag-spread because of the technology that is emerging in today's world. Now, let's move on to another question. So, here we have, what are the cultural influences that affected Philippine popular music? So, here we have this one. What are the cultural influences that affected Philippine popular music? <coughs> Excuse me. So here, the pop music that we know today carries big remnants of our past. Siyempre, yung mga music natin na na-develop is merong a story behind the music of our past. Yun yung dala-dala ng mga kanta in today's present situation and up to the future. Parang, for example, yung mga music in the Philippines. So, here again, again, let's continue. So, here, the pop music that we know today is Cares Be Gremnants of Our Past. Yes, and here, the overall pop music is a combination of Asian, Spanish, American, and indigenous influences. So, yan yung mga combination ng ating music into popular music. So, here we have, what is Manila sound? So, here, it is an example of a song line. Hinahanap-hanap kita, Manila, ang ingay mong kay sarap sa tenga, mga jeepney mong nagliliparan, mga babae mong nagagandahan. So, these song lines belong to the Manila song in a 70s pop music genre in rock, the cities within Metro Manila. The Manila sound developed into various styles and genres, which is eventually called the original Filipino music. So, that was it. And here, what is OPM? So, what is OPM? So, OPM is the original Filipino music, refers to the Philippine popular song composed by the Filipinos in the Philippines. It began with a genre like rock and roll, disco, country, swing, funk, and a little jazz. Ayan. So, ito yung mga genre natin. Rock and roll, disco, country, swing, funk, and a little jazz. So, here is the vinyl D's. Play this song through phonographs or gramophones. So, example nito yung mga malalaki na CD na piniplay sa mga antique houses, yung mga rich Filipinos and rich people during that time. So, here we have the popular artists during the 70s. So, just like you, your lolos and lolas were once teenagers hook with their own favorite artists. So, this includes singing actors and actresses. Example, Nora Honor, Terzo Cruz III, Pilita Corrales, and many others. Jukebox Kings and Queens, Claire de la Cruz Fuente, Didi Trias, Imelda Papin, Ryan Cayabia, Basil Valdez, Ray Valera, and Freddy Aguilar, and many others. And Group Boyfriends, Hot Dog, VST, and Co. Asin, and many others. So now let's move on. What are the theme songs? So, theme song, by definition, a theme song is played at the beginning and the end of a TV show or movie. 
So here we have the MIDI. So what is MIDI? It became easier to create music with te technological developments. One does not need a real music instrument to create musical accompaniment because computers and machines can already imitate and produce their sounds. This is possible through MIDI. So MIDI stands for Music Instrument Digital Interface Ayan, and Synthesizer that Modify or Manipulate Sound. And that is our lesson for today. Catch up for the part 2 of this lesson. And I hope you understand our lesson for our music and arts about the music in performing arts. I hope you understand our lesson. If you have some question, you can comment down in the comment box for clarification. Again, goodbye and God bless everyone. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. Again, kindly click the like button, follow for more information, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have some question or suggestion, you can comment in the comment box. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.